Rooster Teeth just posted this update, basically saying that they are going to be removing a number of prior content that they have produced from their platforms because it's no longer suitable in this day and age or something like that. And their community is pretty split on this. You have some people in the community really liking this uh, update and praising Rooster Teeth for it and taking it a step further. Not only are they praising RT, they're suggesting that RT remove other things that they have worked on that they don't like and that RT sever ties with people that they don't like as well. Of course, the other side is that people are not happy with Rooster Teeth. And they're not happy with this change. Let's take a look, starting, of course, with the statement right here. Today, as part of a larger content review process, we are removing some videos that we no longer feel comfortable hosting on our platforms. We took an honest look at 17 plus years of videos, many of them made live and uploaded on a daily basis, and concluded, some do not fit the ethos of our company today and are counterproductive to the work we are striving to do and be more inclusive of all people. Uh, apparently not, though, if you're removing content that people liked. All people or some people? Uh, they say, We aspire to entertain our existing community while fostering connections with broader, diverse audiences. Any content that doesn't do that doesn't belong on our platform. So that kind of contradicts the above statement, but okay. Uh, this review is ongoing. Over time, we will also edit videos, provide disclaimers where appropriate, and continue to remove content if we so choose. This is an ongoing process, and this by no means means our last update on this topic. Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> yeah, it only took uh, pretty much the entire community uh, yelling at you guys when you were posting that statement some months ago that did nothing. And then when people actually, you know, gave you criticism, then you actually made a donation. So I'm glad you realize now that actions speak louder than words when a few months ago you apparently didn't. They say, and we hope you see our actions clearly now and in the future. Don't hesitate to hold us accountable and offer your feedback. For more information, please read our community post here. Now, here's the thing. They say they listen to feedback, and I pointed out how they previously didn't. Are they actually listening to feedback now, though? Who actually complained about these prior videos? Probably nobody. It was probably internally, as they pretty much said, they chose to look at these videos. They don't feel comfortable with them. They chose to review them and remove them. So were they listening to feedback when they did this? It seems like they didn't. So why are they saying that they do and they did? Doesn't make much sense to me. And this is the big thing that some people still don't understand. A lot of people do get this nowadays, and that's great, but there are still a surprising amount of people who don't see through the nonsense. When a company, especially a company that's owned by a mega corporation, Rooster Teeth is owned by AT&T, a mega corporation. They are extremely capitalist. A lot of the RT community likes to pretend like they don't like capitalism. Well, you must not like Rooster Teeth very much then. Anyways, the point is this. When a company like Rooster Teeth makes a statement saying that they're trying to, you know, be sensitive to people and their feelings. Some people online instantly believe that to be true. Is it really true though? Or are they just trying to win PR points? As I pointed out with their prior hypocrisy, I don't think that they sincerely want to help anybody or really care about this stuff. They are trying to win PR points and they're in a real messy situation because a few months ago, uh, they had that situation with Mika and they made a number of statements saying that they were going to do these things and take action. And if they don't follow through with it, well, they're going to look very hollow. And if they do follow through with it, well, this is the kind of stuff you're going to see happening. So are they listening to the community feedback? Doesn't seem like they are. Are they listening to internal feedback from employees and people that just want power in the company and to change things because they don't like the way things are ran and they want to change things to be more suitable to what they want? Seems like it. Okay, remember now what I said earlier on that some people in the RT community were taking this opportunity to try and get RT to remove things that they don't like? Well, there you go, RT. Here's the community feedback you wanted, apparently. So take a look at this, for example. And by the way, thank you, GameWizard02, for this report. He says, Also, since RT bent the knee so much that they more than likely fractured it in the process, their small woke fan base is now making their own demands of the company. You can see right here, Jen says, Start by deleting Jeremy's offensive joke in the latest Golf It Heart. And uh, Chatty Kinson, who I believe is the, or at least one of the Rooster Teeth community managers, she says, Hiya, the team did remove it. The offensive comment was removed and the edited video was re-uploaded. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, you know, there's some discourse there. Uh, yeah, let's move on from that. Now, here's the example of them trying to get RT to sever ties with a person that they're working with or people that they're working with, not just content that they had produced. This person, uh, <laughs> uh, fitting name, by the way, this person says, have you reviewed your relationship with Yogg's cast, though? I'd like to know the outcome of that. Also, I feel like you're still behind tackling. It just it goes on and on. I'm not going to read all this, man. They start pointing out all these other issues. The point of this, as I already said, you, you probably know the point. 
I mean, Rooster Teeth is just going to have to keep listening to these people now. They have put themselves in such a bad position. I'm so glad I'm not a part of Rooster Teeth. Really am. Because they are in, like I said, man, a terrible position now. What are they going to do? They're going to have, every time they produce content, they're going to be worried that they're going to get backlash and they're going to, you know, make some people, they're going to offend some people. Every time they produce content, they're going to worry about that now. And every time they produce content, some people are going to say that it needs, like something needs to be changed or removed. Can you imagine trying to produce content, worrying about all that every single time? It's not going to go well. Game Wizard says, meanwhile, on the official Rooster Teeth subreddit and on the official blog post, there appears to be plenty of pushback against Rooster Teeth's latest move. From the Rooster Teeth subreddit, person says, Rooster Teeth's video log is about to be shrunk by 75%. By the way, can I just also point out a little irony here? If you went to the RT Animation channel, you saw how they re-uploaded a lot of old content. So they re-uploaded a bunch of old content on that channel, and now they're saying they want to remove a bunch of old content. What's going on with this company? <laughs> it's a little different because that's RT Animation, uh, but you get the idea. It's a separate YouTube channel than Rooster Teeth, but the point still stands. It's funny to me. Let's continue reading. The response from a Redditor, it depends how aggressive they're being on deletion. They may only delete the very worst offenders and add disclaimers. Oh, the worst offenders. Oh, how dare they have made a video like three years ago that no one cares about anymore. But, you know, that's a big problem that they got to remove now, apparently. I'm not sure there's anything that... You know what? Maybe this is suitable. RT seems to like this whole cancel culture kind of thing, right? So let them sweat it. If they want to worry about all these old videos now, they're going to go through it all and review and spend money and time doing that. So, so be it, Rooster Teeth. You're scared to get canceled for something in the past. Well, you know what? You support that kind of culture, it seems. So maybe you deserve this anyways. Maybe you made your own bed and here you are now. Have fun with it. Sorry to cut this person off. I just kind of thought about, about that. <laughs> Says, I'm not sure there's anything that really needs to be deleted, though. A disclaimer would suffice for those videos, in my opinion. Uh, you know, it goes on and on. Funhouse. 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 Is the, I don't even know how it is, man. Is the only one that might get it really bad. Cow Chop and Sugar Pine. Oh, I also saw it on Twitter. Some people were saying Rip Funhouse now. I doubt they will get touched. I, I, <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> Reading that out of context, it sounded weird. But no, no, no. I was laughing because I think it is uh, Funhouse. People corrected me on that. Uh, <laughs> another one. What an utterly disappointing decision. If there's something the current company has an issue with regarding an old piece of content, add something to description or title. But don't remove it. This logic is idiotic. Just because something isn't accepted by some people now, like it previously was, doesn't mean it should be removed. Who decides what's offensive now? What if content being made now becomes perceived as offensive next year? How do you get a... Oh, yeah, that's the thing. They're going to have to review everything now. Like I said, every single thing they produce, they're going to have to worry about that and then review it in the future too, apparently. I mean, here, here you go, Rooster Teeth. This is a great choice. How do you get a sense, so to speak, of what's changed if you don't know what it used to be like? I just can't agree with this decision. Not that my thoughts on it matter, of course. The, I don't like the sound of this decision. My year-long sub on the old price just expired. Wasn't really considering resubbing, and this won't help that. <laughs> the old price? I think this person should check his credit card, by the way. As far as I understand, they didn't. Uh, they also removed the grandfathered pricing. So, might want to check your credit card statement on that one, buddy. But, the, you know, full disclaimer, I might, uh, I might be wrong on that. It's been a while since I covered that topic. To my memory, that's how it is. This person says, I am, I'm a liberal. I, I'm as liberal as it comes. But this is a dumb decision. Do disclaimers all day long. Put an hour-long apology in front of the video. I don't care, but outright moving videos is not how you go about fixing these issues. If anything, the offensive jokes and talking about why they are bad will do more than pretending they never existed. And demonetized disclaimer, demonetized definitely. Okay, so you, you get the idea. They're getting a lot of backlash, a lot of criticism from their community. This person says, definitely not the smartest move. It goes on and on. Horrible decision. All the people on Twitter saying this is an amazing idea and a good step towards progress honestly makes me lose faith in humanity. I mean, maybe I'll show you some of that as an example. Let's do that. Oh, I did show you some examples from Twitter already. The examples of asking Rooster Teeth to remove more content and sever ties with the Augs cast. Uh, but here's some more examples. A good step. Oh, hold up. It's on screen. There we go. A good step to a good step to take going forward. Glad things are changing for the better. This is a great step forward. Thank you for the transparency with it all. Yeah. Are you going to feel that same way if in like two years from now, RT is completely gone? Two years might be generous, by the way. Or you know what? If RT is still around, it's like a shell of the company. Everything's baked into HBO, right? Is that, is that what's going to happen? That's how it's going to go down. And some examples from the RT blog post. We've now taken a look at Twitter, at Reddit, and at the RT blog post. And again, thank you, Game Wizard, for producing this wonderful report. These are wordy comments. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Just, you know, the start of each one. So this person says, I don't entirely agree with removing content. This just feels like someone pretending to hide who they once were. So their new friends don't find out how they used to be. You can still have that content. It may not be a reflection of who you are today, but trying to hide where you came from just doesn't feel right. I say, own it. This other one says, well, this is the end of me supporting Rooster Teeth. I've been here since the beginning. 
I found Red vs. Blue during the first season in 2003. And for the record, for those of you that don't know, I actually found Rooster Teeth back in uh, season two of Red vs. Blue. Didn't really follow the company, though. It was, it's a long story how I got into that. But yeah, I actually have been following RT. Well, not really following, because again, I didn't follow the company. But technically, I was aware of RT since Red vs. Blue season two. Again, it's a long story. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole right now. Maybe on a live stream sometime if I ever get back to streaming. Back to the comment. And I interrupted it so bad. I'm just going to start from the top again. Well, this is the end of me supporting RT. I've been here since the beginning. I found RVB during the first season in 03 while they were still hosted on Machinima. I've watched the company grow and change from a small passion project to a subculture phenomenon to the golden age and now the decline. I've been disappointed with the treatment of employees past and current. I've been disappointed with the attitude of staff when engaging with the community online. I've been disappointed with the lack of importance the company has toward the community. Maybe we'll read this whole one, by the way. I've been disappointed with the willingness, willingness excuse me, of on-screen talent to de disseminate false info about current events and politics, a word that used to be taboo in the utmost. Oh, well said. Yeah. What happened to don't talk about politics, religion, and what was the other one? I forget what the other one was. I've been disappointed with the current content of the podcast. I've been disappointed with the boring, lazy, and impactless writing for the original content. I've been disappointed with the on-screen talent's willingness to track Tosh audio, track, excuse me, trash talk audience members i'm just getting so uh, amused by how much this guy is pushing back against rt here excuse my excuse my hype uh to, to trash talk audience members with whom they have political and ideological ideological disagreements and now i am entirely let down by the company's unwillingness to even stand on and defend its own legacy and prestige well said if you pander to progressives, you must constantly build your walls higher and tighter to constantly defend against the ever-growing list of new unacceptable behaviors, ideas, and concert, uh, conversations. Or to put it in a nutshell, get woke, go broke. <laughs> I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be keeping my money from now on. <laughs> uh, what's this one? This is a short one. I can't explain how disappointed I am in this company. I loved RT. We're, we're just going to skip that one too. Here's another one. Uh, don't delete old content. This is a terrible decision. Oh my gosh, so many people are pushing back against them, guys. It goes on and on and on. If you want to see this, I'll link the report in the description, of course, and you'll be able to read the rest of this, but I'm going to wrap this one up here. Game Wizard 02, thanks again for the report. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Link in the description to the report if you want to take a look. Repeating myself now, so thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.